Oh, oh, oh I got him. I got him. Yes. This is the best game ever. <laughs> okay, we're doing something new that you've never seen before, <laughs> as far as I know. It's probably out there. Um, this is going to be the first episode of what we're going to call Johto Cast Versus, where we'll be playing all of the other Star Wars games. You know, things that fan not from, well, basically not Imperial Assault or Destiny and stuff like that. This is kind of the other stuff. This time we're going to start off by playing Star Wars Risk, the Black Series. Um, it's nothing like Risk, so if the word Risk makes you want to turn this video off, uh, give it a chance because it's actually should have been called Star Wars, not Risk. <laughs> not Risk. It's actually <laughs> like a spiritual successor to the very sought after game, The Queen's Gambit. Go look it up on eBay or something. It's probably like a million bucks if you try and get it. So it's kind of the modern interpretation of that. Um, so I'm Joe. This is Dan. Howdy. Dan's going to be the Rebels. I'm going to be the Empire. We're going to be fighting over Endor. And we're going to blow this guy up right here. No. <laughs> so I've actually, in all the times I've played this, I've never seen the Empire win. And Dan is a bit new to the game, so I'm going to give him the Rebels. Maybe that'll even it out. And let's take a quick look at the basics of the rules, and then we're going to jump into it. Okay, here's a quick rundown of how the game works. The Rebel player wants to kill the Death Star. But they can't kill the Death Star unless they take down the shield generator. And when they take down the shield generator, they have to progress all the way up this track over on... The Battle of Endor. If the Empire wants to win, they have to kill all of the rebel ships. And to do that, they have to use their TIE Fighters and the Death Star. Because the cards are what make the game go, and what makes all this stuff happen. And it goes pretty fast, and it's pretty simple once you know how the cards work. Each turn, Players are going to draw six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then they pick. That's seven cards. Then they pick three of them, set three aside, and then the three they want, they put in whatever order they want. And then the rebel player goes first. They'll pick a card, look at the card, and then they get to pick one of these orders to do. In this case, the rebel player could do something with the Falcon, do something with the B Wings, or do something with Luke. They do that, and then the Empire player goes. In this case, the Empire player can do something with the Executor or something with uh, their Stormtroopers on Endor. And they go until they're both out of cards in their stacks, and then they draw three new cards to add to the three that they set aside, and then they go again. So that's pretty much it. So let's get to the game. Oh crap! Prepare to jump into hyperspace on my mark! All right, stand by. Jodo Cast versus Ready Fight. Yeah, so this game we're basically fighting on three fronts. We've got the Shield Generator, the Space Battle, and Luke versus Vader. And Rebels get to reveal their order first. Which is going to be what? Uh, so a Y-Wing or Assault on the Shield Generator? Shield Generator. Alright, so you're going to roll all five dice. And you get to move up your tag team for every two or better. It looks like you got all five. So all five. Yeah. Okay. Alright, now it's my turn. I'm going to go with the Death Star. So what the Death Star does is I can target any of your fleets over there. Fire I'm going to shoot at uh, one of the B-Wings. I roll two dice on a five or six, I get it. Boom. Um, yeah. So these guys go away. Oh, wow. So the... oh. Bless. That blast came from the Death Star. Okay, so then... operation. I've got... Guess what? Another shield generator assault. Alrighty. Uh, so it, the number only counts when I roll. 
Right. So like if it, you know if I was here and I rolled you know five twos, I can still get all five no. numbers or not threes. No, if you have to have that number to advance or better. Gotcha. So I'd spend the lowest ones first and then. Right. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Here's my roll. Uh, and you so go up five two or higher. It's one two three four. And you got the four. So yeah, you're, you're good. good. You're moving up five one, again. One two three four five. All right. Now it's gonna get harder. My next card. I'm going to deploy some stormtroopers. So I take three stormtroopers and they go here, and that makes. You have to roll four. Yeah. You have to roll fours to get past those guys. Okay. It's going to make this one a little more challenging because I went all in on the shield generator. (laughs) All right. So I need fours or better. Yep. Uh, I got three. So you're moving up three past those stormtroopers. So you can just take them away. So they're, yeah, Yeah. they don't matter anymore. They've died. No, they're gone, gone. Shot them to bits. My last one is Death Star. I'm going to go with the Death Star again. Hey, there we go. Fully armed and operational. We got five. Um, So if I move the whole fleet, does that prevent your ability to shoot it out like this? No, I still have to shoot it even if you've emptied it of ships. I see. Okay. Uh, So that's that's it, right? So that's the end of the first round? Yep. So now we get the three that we kept, plus right. three more. Right. All right. I'm going to do Y-Wings. Okay. So one of these batches, I can just move yep. them up into the yep. space here. You can always move one space adjacent and then make an attack, but you're not next to any type. And so it's, it's all of a ship type at a right. certain location. Do I have to take all of them? No. And then I've got... I'm going to go with the Stormtroopers again. And so it's just three every time you yeah. play one of those? Okay. I'm going to move the X-Wings. Okay, and Vader is going to take a swing at Luke. So Vader gets four dice. For every four or better, Luke will take damage. Uh, Holy cow. There we go. Four damage. How much does he have total? 13? Yeah, once it gets this empty space, he'll go away. I was trying to like figure out, I was like, okay, what's going to stop me from just doing shield generators every action? And I was like, oh yeah, if you're going to blow up my fleet and kill my loot. Uh, Alright, my last one for this turn. Um, I think I just want to get the Y-Wings off that fleet. Okay. And then I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to do TIE Fighters. And I'm going to just deploy... I can either move TIE Fighters or I can deploy four new ones to the Two executor's guys. position. Okay, and that's the end of round two. We're moving fast. All right. go with the X-Wings. I'm just going to get them out. Mm, okay. Well, they're safe. I still have to blow up all of these before the Death Star can start targeting your ships. So my first order I was going to try and blow up those X-Wings with the Death Star, but I think I'm just going to go with Vader again. Uh, that's going to be two, two more damage onto Luke. Uh, I'm going to go with Luke. I'm going to soften up Vader. Right. So same thing for me. Yep. Four's are better. Four's four dice. Better. Four dice. Two. two. Alright. Well, I'm going to go with Vader again. So there's nothing to stop me from just there's three there's more. Nothing I can do to stop Vader from just hammering on Luke or what? Nope. It's all about trying to balance what cards you're playing. Alright, so what does this Vader symbol mean? Uh, you can only play that if he's got I got three, two, or one. That's out. fine. I was planning on taking a crack at Shield Generator anyway. I gotta keep moving on that front. That's so. redeeming him. Um, Alright, so I gotta get four for better. Oh, looks like three of them. Yeah, you get to move up three. There goes those three stormtroopers. Those stormtroopers did not slow you down at all. Not at all. Um, well, I'm just going to take another swing of Vader since we're... Uh, what happens when I lose Luke? I get some bonus orders. Can I keep Hammer and Vader if Luke's dead? No. You can't play Luke cards if Luke is dead. So that's three. Oh, that's right. One, two, yeah. three. So, in one more hit, he's toast. Yep, Luke's hanging okay. on by a thread. Well, I'm not going to worry about hitting Vader. 
All right, so next round? Yep. I am going to go with the X-Wings. All right. Which means I can move all of these X-Wings, yep. right, to an adjacent space. And then you roll one die for each X-Wing on a three or better. You'll So you got to pick which space you're shooting at, this one or this one. I'm going to go on the inside. Okay, so for every three or better, you'll kill a TIE Fighter. Holy hey! Cow. Only two of them only die. Two. Look at that roll. And well, I was hoping to get a Palpatine because he does auto damage to Luke. But I gotta finish him off, so yeah, you, you got I this. think I can do it. There we go. Dead Luke. We did it. Long live the Empire. Bye, Luke. Okay, so, so since I killed Luke, I get to have four cards off the top of my deck added to the bottom of my stack. So I'm gonna get four more cards than you this turn. Go for the shield generator. You need five, five, four, four. Aha! Slow. Now my stormtroopers are working. Slowly fine. slogging through them. I guess Tie Fighter first. I'm gonna actually move five of them over here. I'm gonna take a shot at the Falcon. Okay. You get five or better to hit the Falcon. Holy! <laughs> Ace pilots. There's three damage on the Falcon. One, two, three. Empire might just see victory for once over Endor. B wings are going to advance and shoot these guys. Two of them with mediocre rolls. Now we got the Death Star. Gonna take another crack at uh, your ships out in the fleet. Ah, uh, yeah. Cut bluey's. Wings. There's some spaces between us. Alright, now we got TIE Fighters again. I'm gonna deploy some more. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. The executor seems kind of safe, but we'll, we'll bring some more out. Could always use more TIE Fighters. That's the Empire's motto. Alright, what do you got, Rebels? Falcon! Lando's like, I guess I'll join the fight. Actually, he's like, I'm getting that guy out of here. <laughs> hmm. He's like, those tie fighters roughed me up. You got him half dead, right? Yeah. All right, well then, in that case, I'm going to go with uh, the Death Star. Got two more big ships to blow up. Ooh, extra dead. If only that counted for more than one. Death Star is uh, pretty accurate today. Why wings Passing it's solaced. Right. What if solace was just a, like a dive bar? <laughs> All right, Death Star. See if you can uh, wipe the last of the fleet out, so we can start targeting those fighters. Never been done, no. <laughs> All right, X wings, Y wings, or shield generators. Let's go with the Y wings. And yeah, we'll take four shots. Those ties right there. Right, three times. Uh, you got them. You got no ties now. All right, now we got some TIE Fighters. And I'm going to... I'm going to move these four over there. We're going to leave one behind. And they're going to attack these B-Wings. Uh, you got one B-Wing. Next right. round. X-Wings, Y-Wings... Oh man. And we're gonna shoot these type better. So it's gonna be hard to get all those Y wings out of there. Uh, you get five days. Oh yeah, it's five because I've got tons tons of Y I got eight Y wings. Uh Yes! Wow. <laughs> One. <laughs> I guess they're bombers and they're not fighters. <laughs> um I got the executor. It's gonna go over there. We can do two of it. Yeah. Executor and Falcon can move two. I'm gonna make that run on the shield generator. Oh boy, if you get a perfect roll, you could get it right here. But you didn't. Close though. So, this five to... beats the stormtrooper. Yeah. This four is the next one. Right. This four is the next one. And then and you're then five. Six later, five. Yeah. Alright. Oh, you're one away. That's not good. Uh, TIE Fighters. 
These guys are going to move here and attack that B-Wing. <laughs> See you later, buddy. He's all they got. We got him. Don't you dare do it. Well, let's Don't see if we can it. make that run on the shield generator. I need what? One or two fives? You just need one five or a six, I guess. One five plus, please. Come on, buddy. One. Uh, I got one. The shields are down. So now I can attack the Death Star? Yup. The, the Death Star dies on a six. Just a six period? I don't have to hit it consecutive to see times? Nope, just a six. Okay. Yup. Yup, that's how I feel. I can't do anything about it anymore. I've lost. I, I've got a feeling if I don't get a ring of TIE Fighters around the Death Star before you blow that up, it's game over. Well, you've seen my dice roll, so... Yeah, that's, what, that's all I can count on now. I'm gonna move this TIE Fighter over there and attack this space. Okay. And you can just decide where the damage goes, right? Right. But Y wings and B wings are the same. No, no. Y wings, y -wings are, are four. four better. B wings are five okay. better. Uh, well, let's take out two B wings and a Y wing. That way, at least you have maybe one less opportunity to attack from that space, depending on how your cards come up. Okay. Oh, this could be the last turn, and maybe the last turn. Now I feel how now I really know how the Empire felt. They're just like, ha, we got this in the ba why what? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm first. Um you sure are. Don't you do it. No, you don't do it. Y wings! I'm gonna move these Y wings in here <laughs> and make five shots. Man, if I could kill that in one blast of the Death Star. I know, it'd be scary. Oh. Ah, don't do it. But at least now I know you don't have any of this. <laughs> And it just rolls away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, once again, I've yet to see the Empire win at this game. That's pretty nuts. I I feel like you you gotta put a ring of TIE fighters around the the Death Star to stop because once that shield generator goes down, you just gotta roll six. And if I got TIE Fighters there, that might actually slow you down from doing that. I think if you would have gotten TIE Fighters on this side, my Falcon would have been more active. Like yeah, on the front side. Because that's, that's the whole thing of this game. It's like, well, do I want to focus on my TIE Fighters or do I want to? I tried to focus on Luke right away because I thought that might give me a boost, which it kind of did. Well, it did. But, and if I was gonna, you know, next time I play this. I would spend more time up front, I think, trying to take a stab at Vader because of how fast Luke went down. Mm -hmm. it's but then like, if you're oh, doing that, then you're not doing the shield generator. They've got... But if, if Vader can go down in two to three rounds, if you've got the right cards, then... Yeah, this this game's tricky, and I'm still trying to figure out how to win as the Empire, but I really like this game. This went a lot faster than I thought it would. It's really fast. It's really simple. Yeah. Um, I think this was this game went under a lot of people's radar just because it's had a risk on the box, right. and a lot of people in the tabletop hobby just get turned off by that word because risk isn't. There's a lot of better games out there than risk, but this isn't risk. They should have just called it anything else. I mean, since it's the successor to the, on the desktop, the Queen's Gambit, why not just call it Endor Gambit or Battle yeah. Over Endor or something like that? Because honestly, that probably would have sold more than putting the word risk on the box, but maybe risk helped it sell to you know, non-hobby gamers. I don't know, but we were playing with the Black Series one, which did have a few extra embellishments. I think Black Series one was only available on Amazon, but that it doesn't change the game at all. Just the components are slightly different and fancier. I like this game, I hope. You enjoyed the first episode of JonoCast Versus, where JonoCast lost. <laughs> um, and hopefully we'll have more videos like this featuring different Star Wars games that you might not see every day. And I think that's it. Um, I got nothing. You got any other thoughts? <laughs> it's fun. Would play again. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks to the patrons. 